are you doing today, my lovely embers? Welcome back to another reaction. Today we're going to be watching more Game of Thrones. We're going on to episode three of season six. Sorry, I'm still a little sick, getting over it. Feeling a lot better than I did last time I recorded. Thank you guys for still being there. And all of those who are still returning to the channel, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. If you enjoy the video, please feel free to leave it a rating. I very much appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into today's episode. say that's such an interesting intro for just being a map and it moving around different parts of a map i'm so excited oh we got john booty and let me go got chico chicos <laughs> the wolf is like i can see your junk Cover yourself, sir. Cover yourself. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> I'm not drooling. Like, I actually just. That was. I, I wasn't. I'm not even gonna explain myself. <laughs> Ollie, you put a knife in my heart. I shouldn't be here. That part. <laughs> like, you're not questioning the fact that you're back? After they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? Nothing. There was nothing at all. Mm, just how I like it. I don't know. I just kind of would like it to be nothing afterward. Just peace, rest. You were dead. And no, you're not. I can only imagine how it seems to you. And now I'm back. Why? Well, it wasn't medical, I'll tell you that much. You go on. You fight for as long as you can. You clean up as much of the sh as you can. I don't know how to do that. I failed. And with magic, you may be able to fail more times than that. Oh, look who's back, hoes. <laughs> no, about the stab wounds, though. We still, we're still not going to, those not going to heal up. They think you're some kind of god. The man who returned from the dead. I'm not a god. I know that. I saw your packer. <laughs> what kind of god would have a peck of that small? Hey! <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> Hold off on burning my body for now. Are you alright? Did I ever tell you I used to think the sea was called the sea because it was nothing but water as far as the eye could see? I don't think so. Don't remind him about the sea. He's going to throw up. Are you going to be sick? It's the sounds for me. The Citadel doesn't admit women. There won't be a place for you there. Half a little sound. Stayed at Castle Black. There's no women allowed there. Hey, good point. So if we're not going to Old Town, where are you taking me? To my home. Your home wasn't the kindest to you. How's that going to be toward her? Wherever you go, I go too. That's what you said. So you got to be careful with the words. Careful what you tell people. I care about you and him. I know that, Sam. We trust you. I'd feel better if you threw something at me and stormed off. I'd never do that to the father of my son. No way, man. When did we? Way to ruin the moment. I don't want to see that. Father of my son. I mean, obviously, this is where it was going that they'd be together. But uh, to call him father of my son this early, like, hey. Uh, I mean, I guess. I guess he's accepted it. That's my father. The man beside him is Howland Reed, Mira's father. I'm still shocked. At the brand growth, it's just, he was just a little boy. And now he's like a little man. Now how did this happen so fast? It was literally just one season ago. <laughs> Always ever the gruesome Game of Thrones. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, Lord. Jeez. I gotta hold on to something. To, oh. <laughs> uh. Sir, you have two swords. You can come in at two different directions at the same time. He's better than my father. Father. Yeah, but Ned lived, so... Oh. He stabbed him in the back. Uh, what, does he just take credit for it? We'll visit again another time. I want to see where he's going. Time to go. Father! Oh, I was about to say, we're about to have some trippy stuff. Is he about to actually communicate with him in time? How that? Nope. Nope. Stay too long where you don't belong and you will never return. Why do I want to return? So I can talk to an old man in a tree? You think I wanted to sit here for a thousand years watching the world from a distance as the roots grew through me? So why did you? I was waiting for you. Oh, I thought he was just kind of sitting in there trying to be mysterious and all, but he actually, uh... The tree grew through him. Whoever thought that she would be traveling with the, what are they called, the Kalasar? Traveling with them again. Look all creepy. Don't tell me this is where she's supposed to spend the rest of her days. Absolutely rude. Uh... <laughs> to me, that sounds like a threat. And I think she needs to be careful. I think she needs to think it through. You've sacrificed your body for a cause, which is more than most people do. And you've helped the sons of the Harpy murder the Unsullied and the Second Sons. The Unsullied and the Second Sons are foreign soldiers. I understand. Well, that makes perfect sense from your perspective. Ugh, it's so intriguing to watch him work. I think it's important that you try to see things from my perspective, just as I will try to see them from yours. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. You won't torture me, you'll just threaten my son. Children are blameless. Your boy is in no immediate danger. This, I swear to you. What's your angle here? You did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. How will poor Dom get on without his mother? If I tell you anything, they'll kill me. So either you kill me or they do. Yes. There is a third option, though. Uh. A ship leaving tomorrow for Pentos. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. Good God, he's good at this. Damn, girl, you're going to be rich? <laughs> A new life for you and Dom. Or... Wait, don't cut away. I want to know the secrets, too. What would you be talking about if I weren't here? Patrol. When I am going on patrol with the Ansalit, what we see on patrol... You don't play games, either one of you, ever? Games are for children. My master, Krasnis, would sometimes make us play games. There, that's a start. Dangerous. Only the girls. Oh, no, no, no. Not that. Of course not that. I was going to say, if, if their games from him, they're not the type of games you want to try. Learning who funds the Sons of the Harpy, some things you can't rush. You found out? The good masters of Astapor and the wise masters of Yonkai, with help from their friends in Volantis. The masters speak only one language. Death? To hear us, we must speak it back to them. May it be the last thing they ever hear. You may be right. Is it, is it violence? That's a language. Can you little birds get a message to the good masters of Vastapol, the wise masters of Yonkai, and the benevolent enslavers of Volantis? Of course, men can be fickle, but birds I always trust. Will Lord Farris 
Lucas ever come back? I don't think so. You miss him? He was nice. He called us his little birds. He gave us sweets. Huh? Wait a second. He was using the children. <laughs> he was... Oh, who would ever s suspect the children, though? Candid plums and all. Is he killing the children? All I need in return are whispers. This is Sir Gregor. He's friends with all my friends. I don't like. Watch out for him. Barris's little birds. Your little birds now, Your Grace. What did you do to him exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, uh, a number of things. Does you understand what we're saying? I mean. I want little birds in dawn, in High Garden, in the north. If someone is planning on making our losses their gains, I want to hear it. If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets covered in shit, I want to hear it. She's, you're not the queen. That would make for a very odd family relationship here. You are the king's mother. You don't get thrown out of the citadel without good reason. And no one listened to my advice. So, and what he's done to Gregor Clegane is an abomination. Um. And I, for one, think it will be in our best interest to have the beast destroyed. Uh, you just don't get it. You just don't get any better at this. Do oh. Can I help you? Why are you here? My mother <laughs> was invited, my dear, to help deal with several troublesome issues. It's well past time we address the abuses I endured. Marjorie is the queen. Fool. I'm not the queen Duh. because you're not married to the king. Duh. I do appreciate these things can get a bit confusing in your family. <laughs> yes. What about Marcella's death, uncle? Do you consider the murder of your own blood a troublesome issue? The same women who murdered Marcella have overthrown House Martell and taken control of Dawn. Do not mess with that viper. Do not mess with her. <laughs> no, we cannot make you leave. And you cannot make us stay. Not unless you're going to have that thing murder us all. Mm. Let's go. Like, there's a love-hate relationship for Cersei, but, um... Is that her name? Grandma, Grandma's name? Ophelia? She's just... Ugh, I just... I love her presence. <laughs> and her attitude. The sass. Now we need to see Marjorie get out of the damn cell. And as I speak, is that what we're here for? Oh, he's, he's huffing and puffing. He's angry. She must stand trial before seven septums so we can learn the true extent of her sins. I want you to let her see Marcella's resting place. I am the king. You are the crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. One's supposed to stand taller than the other. Not both can <laughs> rule together. There's a great deal of falsehood in Cersei. You know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. You see now when she talks to you. It's a great gift. One I never had. Yeah, yeah. Cry me a river. <laughs> Your grace, do, may I do mine? It's, it's my niece. No, don't tr I don't trust you at all. And you know what, Game of Thrones? I see what you're doing here. We have not gone back to John, and I need to know how he's going to talk to these fools. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can, and no one is wiser than the gods. My grandfather once said something similar. See, this is why he's too young to be a king. He hasn't established his own philosophy or anything like that. He has so much more to learn and he can be easily influenced and all these people trying to manipulate him. That's, uh, oh, it just gets on my nerves. Come on, Arya, let's do this. <laughs> Hit that hoe. She's gonna get tired of you. She's gonna get enough of hitting people and sneak attacking. Tell me about Arya Stark's family. Her father was Eddard Stark. Her mother was Catelyn Stark and four brothers. <laughs> it's something about the hitting and the violence just gets me all raged out. I'm like, I just want to hit her too. She's not just going to sit here and beat the hell out of me. They may be dead for all the girl knows. Damn, how's she going to be when she actually meets up with a family member again? Will she even have an identity anymore?
The growth of her character is painful. Who else was on Aya Stark's funny little list? You. <laughs> what, you want to be on the list? Just can't say your name, you don't have one. <laughs> Get smacked, bitch. Ooh. Oh, 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 yes. I know it's all in the name of training, but you, you, you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, isn't that the death water? I don't know if I would trust that. You know what? You might want to boil that for a little while first before you go ahead and drink it. Don't trust him now. If a girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. Give her, her eyes back already. Finally, jeez. Who are you? Arya Stark. <laughs> Get my eyes back and start acting up right away. Your people share blood with the Starks, don't they? But here we are. Times change. My beloved father, the warden. Your father was a cunt, and that's why you killed him. I might have done the same to my father if he hadn't have done me the favor of dying on his own. Careful, there's no siding with him. There's no siding with Ramsay. Do not, don't, don't try and be friends with him. Won't take him long to get here. <laughs> you think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? If they get Jon Snow leading them, maybe. He knows his place better than we ever will. Swear loyalty to me as Warden of the North, and we will fight together to destroy the bastard and all his wildling friends. I've got a gift for you. I prefer redheads. A girl. I. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Please, no. Who is this? Oh, no. Recon Stark. Oh, no. Did you get the wolf, too? God, they killed his star <sighs> Not with Ramsey. No, 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 no. God help us all. I hate it so much. I want to see the looks on their faces. And I still feel for the boy. But I shouldn't. You shouldn't be alive. It's not right. Neither was killing me. My mother's still living in White Harbor. Tell her I died fighting the Wiling. No. Shant. I had a choice, Lord Commander. You brought an army of wildlings into our lands. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up, I pray I'd make the right choice again. The man just couldn't adapt. He was using logic, but then at the same time, he, he didn't think things through. Boy, what is the look? What is that look? The pure anger in his eyes. What on earth? Oh. Or no. It's the sounds of choking. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, you know, uh, regret in that. They all seem to be very true to what they did. They you have got so black. Oh, wait, what? Revenge and done. It's sometimes hard to vocalize the things that this show brings you to feel. I wanted revenge i wanted him to you know like talk to them and hash things out about what happened there was no way to reason with them i guess that's why he still went through with it i understand where what is his name alistair was coming from he 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 was trying to be faithful to one or the other 
so many gray areas. He swore an oath, and I guess you gotta stick by that too. It's so tough. It's, just, it's like I'm being torn apart on the inside. So I wasn't as satisfied with the hanging as I would have been if there could be some kind of reasoning, you know? Uh, it just, it sucks. I don't know. There's just something I, I wish, uh, just something could have happened differently, like a, a turnaround, a, a revelation of some sort, you know? What's done is done. So, so, so John's just leaving. I don't know what the next step is for him. Arya finally got her eyes back, thank God. And, but let's talk about what the worst thing is here. The very, very worst thing that I saw in this episode was the fact that Ramsey, he has Alsha and Osha. And uh, I'm starting to get names mixed up. Boy, they don't put the, that, the boy in here enough. Rickon, Rickon. Some of these names are so hard for me. I don't know what to expect of that, but there's nothing good that can come of it. Please don't tell me that that's the setup for the end of this season because I don't want it at all. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a rating and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, be bright, and give someone a reason to smile today. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.